Your coach was speaking out about the wildfires. We know the air quality has really been affected up there on the West Coast. How concerned are you about that? And what's it been for you, uh, like for you guys in practice dealing with it? Um, well, I know we've been practicing inside quite a bit because uh, uh, the air quality outside is so bad. But, uh, you know, just another obstacle that we got to take on and uh, be great at. Appreciate you being on the show as always, man. And obviously, I will, I will have a conversation with you later on about the ab work that I need done. I lost some pounds, but I need your help with that ab work right there. But let me get to the football field because I was impressed by what I saw from y'all this past weekend against Atlanta. Obviously, Russell Wilson's the story, 31 of 35 passes. He completed through to like nine different receivers or what have you, but came out throwing the football more than he customarily did in the past. Can you talk to me about what y'all are committed to doing this year and how it's different than what we've seen from y'all in previous years? Um, like always, man, we're committed to winning winning each week, winning each game, uh, take it one possession at a time. Uh, but we see they, we saw they tried to load the box and uh, stop Chris Carson on the run. So uh, just took advantage of, of their DBs playing soft and uh, trying to play us man to man. So, uh, I mean, we, we, we didn't expect it, but when we saw it, we started falling at the mouth. I was like, yo, we're about to, we're about to go deep on it. DJ, um, having spoken to you, you're, you know, behind the scenes, you're a very impressive person. When you've been on the show and we talked to you off camera, um, you take your craft very seriously. Um, so I want to ask you what kind of satisfaction or what the feeling is having had a rookie season like you did after there were those like Molly who said, draft this guy. But you had some people who were skeptical, thinking, yeah, the measurables are great, he looks great, but the college production didn't match what you see, what you can measure. How do we know he's going to be a great NFL player? And then you went out, and someone who's internally motivated like you, I imagine, gets a lot of satisfaction by going out and having the kind of rookie season you did. How did you feel about the skeptics, and how did you feel about the season you just had? Um, after the season, I started getting, uh, you know, quite some praise, but, uh, in my, in my own mind, I don't think I did that good. My, uh, my rookie season, uh, there was a lot of things I could improve on and, uh, I, I honed in on them, uh, this off season to, to just, to just try to uh, make the, the things that I can improve on, uh, better. So, um, I mean, I got a lot of praise, but in my mind, I, I still feel like I can, I can be even better. So that's just what I'm focusing on is just making, making myself better. And uh, just hopefully, uh, you know, it can make the team better at the end of the day. Yeah, well, that mentality is what makes you great because you're selling yourself short with that answer. Like a DK, I want to ask you this. I, right? I find this really interesting. So Bill Belichick doesn't open up much. He was asked this morning, obviously, playing you guys on a Sunday about Russell Wilson. And you can see the quote right there. But essentially, he said he's underrated and he doesn't see anybody better. How do you feel about Belichick saying that about your quarterback? Um, I mean, he, he hit it on the head in my in my mind. A lot of people don't don't realize how great Russell Wilson is. Uh, I mean, he, he can extend plays. Uh, I mean, his stats are, are second to none. Uh, when you look at him uh, closely with how long he's been in the league, he's he's very clutch. Um, I mean, he has all the attributes to be one of the greatest quarterbacks uh, the league has seen. Um, but you know, a lot of people knock on because his size. And, I mean, I, I don't, I don't see his size being a factor uh, when we're out there playing football. So uh, he's very underrated in that uh, aspect because of his size. But I mean, you, you keep turning on the uh, film or uh, watch the games on Sundays. I mean, he's he's proven down to draw. DK, speaking speaking of the Pats, obviously, you know, you're considered a stud receiver. Tyler Lockett is no joke. We get all of that. But you came in. You came on first take when you were first drafted. You talked about what you were going to do uh, when you entered the National Football League. You put everybody on notice that you was coming because you felt like you were being disrespected and underrated. And as far as I'm concerned, you already proved your point. Continue to do so. But with that being said, with that level of success, comes attention. And with the New England Patriots, there's a dude by the name of Stephon Gilmore who's widely considered the best cornerback in football. We know that the Pats like to engage in man-to-man -man coverage, particularly when it comes to him. How good is he in your mind? And do you expect him to be following you all over the place uh, uh, you, know, throughout, uh, you know, throughout the weekend? And what are you going to do about it? 
Uh, man, I've been studying the past uh, DBs. They got they got four dudes that can that can uh, ball on the back end uh, from the McCourty twins to J C Jackson to Stephen Gilmore. So uh, they got they got a, a bunch of DBs, and uh, you know if he follows me, it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, I'm willing to take it on, and if he follows Tyler and you know whoever else they put on on me or Tyler, um, you know it's going to be a, a great matchup. So just can't uh, can't wait to the game Sunday. Yeah, I, I picked you guys. Um, out of the NFC, um, and, and largely I did it not only because of the improvements in the team, but the Jamal Adams move. What is it like to get an impact defensive player like that in the offseason? Um, I mean, it was a good move. Everybody sees the, fo- the football aspect of it, but, you know, he, he came in and changed the locker room. Uh, he's a very high-energy guy. Um, he, he plays that way on the field. Um, I mean, he just brought the, the team's energy up. Uh, from day one, and then just seeing him play on Sundays, I mean, the, the guy's going to be a Hall of Famer in my mind. He's one of the best safeties that I've, I've been around my whole life. So uh, just just very impressed with, uh, you know, how he how he takes on every day. And, uh, I mean, I, I just can't wait to, to until y'all see, like, what he, what he can really do on the football field. Oh, we, well, we, we, we saw what he could do. He's in New York City. We know that he was with a scrub team and he didn't have the proper level of coaching. And we, uh, we know what he said about Adam Gates. And damn it, tell him he was right because he is right. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.